Hello and welcome back to the Bourbon Bar. I'm Holden and today I'm going to be doing a review on Bowman Brothers Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Now, for those of you who are unaware, Bowman Brothers is a Buffalo Trace-ish product. It's a product that the Bowman Brothers Distillery sources from Buffalo Trace, then brings to Virginia, and I believe they distill it uh, one more time or however many times and in a copper still and age it in Virginia instead of in Kentucky where Buffalo Trace is. Now, if you guys like Buffalo Trace and you want to see if this whiskey is good, go ahead and watch my video up in the corner uh, when I do a head-to-head -head on these two whiskeys. But in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a review on Bowman Brothers Bourbon, so let's just jump right into it. Now, Bowman Brothers Bourbon is, uh, like I said, from Buffalo Trace. It is their coveted Mash Bill 1, uh, so it is the same Mash Bill as Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, E.H. Taylor, which is a very reliable uh, Mash Bill. A lot of people love Buffalo Trace. There's a reason why it's never in the stores when you're looking for it, but this seems to be readily available. At 90 proof, it is, uh, it is you know, above that 80 mark, but it's about the same as Buffalo Trace. It does have a nice story here on the back of the bottle, but later in the video, I'm gonna go ahead and read what's on the back of the bottle, but for those of you who don't wanna wait for me to read that, I'm gonna jump right into the nose and tell you guys how much I love this whiskey. Okay, so right away on the nose, the first thing that uh, is jumping out of the glass is uh, a cinnamony, almost like a Cinnabon, like, a sweet cinnamon bread like like what I said in a previous video in that that other video is that it's got this this cinnamon sugar on buttered toast vibe and that's a snack I had as a kid and it's always fantastic but it's it's kind of like a Cinnabon if you ever get a fresh Cinnabon out of the oven it's got that sweet cinnamon sugar in it and it's got that like buttery bread yumminess to it and that's kind of what it's like on the nose there's a lot of oak <clears throat> character right on the nose right up front there's a little bit of creaminess hidden back there and i'm getting just a slight touch of peanut dust but we're gonna go ahead and get it on the palate and tell you guys what that tastes like Wow. Okay. So the palate is very rich and a bit spicy. The first thing I notice is that that sweet cinnamon spice that was on the nose is comes through and it really punches you in the palate. It turns from that cinnamon roll that I was talking about into more of a honestly like a harsh cinnamon, almost like a hot cinnamon. The kind of cinnamon like a red hot, almost, but not, it's not fireball, don't get me wrong. It's not aggressive like that, but it is a little bit more of that spicy cinnamon and definitely has a little bit of oak tannins in it. <clears throat> I did get a little bit of nuttiness on the palate there, but it's one thing that I noticed that the viscosity of this is, uh, seems a little bit thicker than the typical Buffalo Trace, almost like there's a little bit more to the palate. Whereas uh, the Buffalo Trace, I think, was a little bit more thin and a little bit more sweet compared to this. The finish is moderately long. It's medium to long finish. It definitely has a lot more of that Kentucky hug in the back of it. It's kind of that spiciness that you're getting on the palate. It follows you all the way down the throat, comes back up just slightly with a little bit of retronasal and it's it's you know pretty delightful I, I have to say this is drinking almost hotter than a 90 proof whiskey and almost a little bit more complex too i definitely wouldn't expect anything less from buffalo traces match bill one but it doesn't disappoint but this is a perfect time to tell you guys about my patreon now my patreon is just getting started and it is gonna be somewhere where you guys are gonna be able to communicate with each other and communicate with me more hands-on. You'll also get exclusive access to videos that YouTube will never see the light of day, behind the scenes, uh, any kind of future store picks or anything of that nature. You'll be the first person to get any kind of chance at merch 
and anything of that nature. So if you guys are interested, check in the link in the description for my Patreon and go follow me on there and subscribe to my Patreon. If you guys aren't on my Instagram, follow it at the bourbon bar underscore. And finally, if you guys are interested in sending me any kind of whiskey to review or really anything, letters, whatever you want, uh, my email will be down in the description and get, contact, get in contact with me and tell me what you want to send me. So before we get into my grade of this bottle, I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys what it says on the back. It's a nice little story about the Bowman brothers and this goes, John Abram, Joseph, and Isaac Bowman were Virginia militia officers in the American Revolutionary War. In 1779, they led 30 pioneer families to Madison County, Kentucky, and established Bowman Station. Later, the brothers helped establish and settle Fayette County. They were legends admired and respected by fellow settlers for their courage and bravery. This handcrafted bourbon whiskey is a tribute to these four heroic brothers. And I'll throw some B-roll up on the screen. You guys can see in the back of the bottle uh, the four Bowman brothers um, really well. And it's a very cool bottle and a very cool story. So that being said, it's time to give this a grade. And I have switched my grading scale to do it out of 10, giving me more options and more opportunities to give things different grades so you can really uh, compare them to each other. And this whiskey is in the 30 to $35 mark uh, when I found it. It's roughly six to seven years old and it is 90 proof. It has a lot of that cinnamon spice and oak spiciness that I like, but still a little bit hint of that sweetness that you'd like out of Buffalo Trace. And it is a Buffalo Trace product, or Buffalo Trace Mashville 1 uh, juice. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give this bottle a 7.8. So 7.8, this bottle is good whiskey. If you guys see it, you should definitely pick it up. I don't know how many bottles I'll pick up. I'm not a huge Buffalo Trace fanboy. I'll never have five of these bottles on my shelf at one time. But you know, when this bottle gets empty, I'm probably gonna buy another one. It's not blow your socks off. It's not the best value in whiskey by any means, but it is delicious. And you guys really should try it, especially if you're fans of Buffalo Trace. I would say if you guys like Buffalo Trace, definitely pick this one up and give it a try because Honestly, for the price, you can't go wrong. It's cheap, it's affordable, and it is good whiskey. They also have a couple other expressions for the other Bowman brothers uh, individually, like the Isaac Bowman and all those guys. There's a port finished one, there's a barrel strength one, a bottle of bond one. So if you guys are inter interested in that kind of stuff, go find those bottles and definitely pick them up. Uh, that being said, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let me know if you've tried Bowman Brothers yet and how much you guys enjoyed it. That being said, this is all from the Bourbon Bar, and I'll see you guys in the next class.